Hey guys, it's uh, Pastor John here with Corndale Church, and uh, every every Thursday morning, uh, Thursday is my my final sermon prep day, and uh, every Thursday morning I come out to the waterfront, and the first thing I do for my work day is I pray, and specifically I pray for the sermon, the preaching of the word, I pray for uh, the worship time, I pray for the church and people who will be serving, and and uh, and my prayer is that people would be encouraged. And, uh, and built up. I, I know every Sunday as I step up to uh, preach the word that, that there are people uh, in the room who have hurts and pains and are struggling with things that, um, that I are just so far beyond anything I can uh, imagine. And, and the needs are, uh, are huge. And, uh, and the real need is for God and to hear God speaking through his word. And so I start my Thursday morning by praying for you, the church, and uh, everything that's going to go on because I know how uh, incredibly important uh, worship is uh, in the life of, uh, of a disciple. Really, worship is the fuel that, that empowers the rest of our life. Without worship, there is no discipleship. And so I'm thinking this morning, what would happen if everybody uh, prayed for the Sunday? What if, what if everybody started praying uh, for the worship services, for the preaching of the word? What if everybody started praying for the teams that will be serving and gathering on a Sunday morning and, and praying for the kids that will be in their classes and the kids that will be in the services and, and praying for the people who will come that they would hear God's word and that they would grow in, in, in their love and knowledge of him? And what if, what if we all started praying that God would draw and bring people who uh, might not know him and that they would hear him for the first time and come to faith in him. What would happen if we all started praying on a regular basis for uh, our times of, of public and corporate um, worship? And so I just want to take a moment to encourage you and to challenge you and ask you, would, would, you, would you do that this week? Would you, would you pray for uh, the preaching of the word? And maybe you don't go to uh, Quorum Dable, maybe you're at a PBF or you're at Seaside or you're at the Refuge or Crossroads um, or Keyport Bible or wherever you're at, pray. Pray for your pastor. Pray for the people who are serving and pray that God would draw people and, and pray that uh, God would uh, be honored and that the church would be built up uh, during that time of gathering. And, and the other thing I want to encourage you to do is uh, don't just pray for the service, but actually go. And, uh, and I say that because I know it's the Northwest and uh, man, it's, it's, it's the end of July or it's the middle of July and uh, we all know that the darkness is coming in September and October and the rain is going to come and the sun is going to hide and, and the weather is beautiful right now and so we're all feeling like we got to get that, that last moment of summer in and uh, man, you know, going out and enjoying creation is so uh, important and life-giving and good. Um, but there's something even more fundamental than that, and that is the, the worship of God and the gathering of God's people. So, so I just want to encourage you to uh, be praying for your churches and be praying for your pastors and be praying that God would do great things and, and go and show up and be there and be prepared to see what God may do. All right, I'm out of here. We'll see you Sunday. Take care.